federal agents are dumping thousands of illegal aliens at bus stations and then simply walking away. They don't want to do it. They have no choice. Congress won't help them. Our system is in total collapse. Nobody's even trying to protect you or our country. Kirsten Gillibrand is a U.S. senator and a Democratic presidential candidate. She thinks what is happening is just fine. On Sunday, Gillibrand went on television to explain that we have no right to detain illegal immigrants. Instead, they should be released directly into our country. But you oppose even what the Obama administration did in terms of keeping families together or keeping them together for a longer period of time in detention? I wouldn't, as president of the United States, I wouldn't use the detention system at all. Homeland Security, though, is saying hundreds of thousands of people are, are crossing the border and they need to go somewhere before their asylum claims are actually heard. What would you do with them? They don't need to be incarcerated. They can, if they're given a lawyer and given a process, they will follow it. It goes without saying that functioning societies don't operate like this. Countries that care about their people enforce their own laws. Our leaders are decadent and narcissistic. They care only about themselves. They will never defend our nation. That's obvious, and the rest of the world knows it. The American pinata has been getting pummeled for decades, and now it has finally come apart. Our national wealth is up for grabs by whomever get, gets here first, and they are coming. Over just the past year, 1% of the entire population of the nation of Guatemala has moved to the United States. The Wall Street Journal piece last month described the plight of that country's villages. Some of them are literally depopulating as people stream north to America's generous welfare state. Meanwhile, a new study from the Federation for American Immigration Reform, FAIR, given exclusively to this show, shows the scale on which the United States is being plundered. Every year, FAIR found, foreign-born workers send about $150 billion in remittances to their friends and family overseas. That's more than the GDP of 18 American states. Illegal aliens alone are remitting $28 billion a year. That's $28 billion leaving this country, going abroad every year from people who don't even have the legal right to work here in the first place, but are, and are benefiting, of course, from all the extras, free health care, free education, subsidized housing, food stamps, who knows what else. The remittances are not taxed. In the case of illegal immigrants working under the table, their original earnings have never been taxed either. So this is a disaster, but it's not a natural disaster. We could have prevented it. With a wall, mandatory E-Verify, remittance taxes, an efficient deportation process, you could easily fix this crisis. It wouldn't take much. It's not fixed because Congress doesn't want to fix it. 